So yep. a lot of speculation about him. That is just foul. So the Boston Red Sox happened to be at the Metrodome. And there was no hiding the bullpens of the Metrodome. They were just right off the left field yep. and the right field lines. And I remember we were broadcasting the game and right in the middle of the game Rick Aguilera gets up from the bullpen and about the seventh inning and walks back to the third base dugout. About a minute later Frankie Rodriguez a young hard throwing right hander with the Red Sox gets up out of his chair in the right field bullpen and comes walking down the right field and first base line and into the first base dugout. And the Tigers I think are going to challenge that call up the right field line. Well the Twins and the Red Sox made a trade right there in the middle of the game. And that was the middle of the series. So they, there they, they come trade, off. They traded both both guys. They traded one, for one each the other. other. There were other guys involved but those were the two main pieces. <laughs> And the very next day Frankie Rodriguez is in a Twins uniform Rick Aguilera is in a Red Sox uniform and he got a save the very next day in the same ballpark against the Twins Just very eerie feeling that, that ball looked like at least from that angle it's paint now there's no chalk it used to be chalk but it's paint and and it looked like it could have been fair but this is not the looked like era. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> but <laughs> like I said, it used to be chalk, but it's paint now. Everything changes. Was it Joel Youngblood who got traded and played for two different teams in one day? Did he play for the Expos and the Mets the same right. day? I think you're right. That's just unheard of. It's crazy. In two different cities, too. <laughs> day game in one place, jumped on an airplane, got to the next city, and appeared with that team. I, I don't I don't see anything that is clear and convincing from that angle, do you? Not this angle. Foul ball. 